The hills are alive with the sound of beer. Hi there, it's Uncle Joan here, back in 2022 with another beer review from Steigl, which are in Salzburg, which is in Austria. Um, hence my uh, my singing at the beginning there. Um, and this one is Biozvik. I don't know if you can see that. It's been in the fridge. Biozvikl or Zwickel. Uh, Stiegel, as you probably know, Salzburg. Um, this one's an interesting beer because what they've tried to do is um, use lots of heritage stuff. So uh, the malt, a heritage uh, Austrian malt, um, they're trying to use all bio um, stuff as opposed to hydro, I guess, if you're following that through. Um, so basically stuff that's grown in the land and not in some lab that kind of thing um kind of going back to their roots um i've had steigl beers before i haven't had this one before and their design is quite good it's quite simple um it's got a nice sort of stepped logo there i don't know if you can see oh i always move it in a bit close and then pull it back there you go um 1492 so those of you that are from america might recognize 1492 um because that's when columbus uh, went over. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little paper thing that can, it's like a tamper proof lid. Um, I think I had a Steigl beer in my, um, my, what's it called? Advent beer selection. And if you remember, when you open it and it won't explode because I've had it in the fridge for a while, look, the actual <laughs> the thing can stay on. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I've been doing with these kind of beers. So, got a schooner. Again, it's the uh, the Christmas schooner glass. Um, let's pour this in. I noticed in the bottle it had a slight, a very slight haze. It's not supposed to be a hazy beer, I don't think. Um, obviously, it's a lager. There we go. Because I've had it in, in the fridge. Oh, actually, let me see. How strong is it? 5.2. 5. 5. Um, and I was very careful with the pour. And you've got a very a fingernail. We'll call that a fingernails. Um, yeah, head on there. Got the bubbles going on there. You can probably see. But it is hazy. You can see through though. It's only a mere haze. And it's also darker than a normal kind of lager as well. Mmm. Am I getting a bit of Austrian farmyard there? I'm definitely getting some sort of hearty kind of maltiness. A little bit sweet, but not too much so. Cheers and beers, guys. Let's dive in. Oh, yeah. Now that's interesting. It's it's crisp. It's got a sweetness, really, just a hearty, hearty, um, a little bit of sweetness. But it's got that hearty kind of, uh, you know, when you eat bread and you have white sliced bread from a plastic bag, and then you have some gnarly bread with lots of seeds and oats and wholemeal and all sorts of germs and ancient grain that's what this is yeah very interesting It'd be interesting to see if it's a hundred percent ancient grain which it kind of purports to be if you know what i mean but um i wouldn't be surprised if the ancient grains isn't the whole of the grain bill but it's definitely got some sort of grainy backbone to this Yeah, and this is, there's no massive lager kind of um, hop wrongness going on. This is all about, yeah, this is all about the backbone. Um, it's really weird to describe. It's like, it's a lager, 
definitely a lager. Really clean, really crisp. Um, but you, you've got a bit of chewy breadiness on the backbone. That's the best way to describe it. Mm, and then when you're kind of licking your teeth and licking your... Uh, Mm, cleaning your palate, you, you get that kind of uh, that heartiness that comes from uh, that malt, um, which is really nice. It's different. Anyway, this is always going to be a quick one. Cheers and beers, guys. You're going to stick with me in 2022. I know I haven't quite got the um, the intros and stuff um, up and running because all of that stuff's on another computer, which um, I don't have access to at the moment. Um, and um, yeah, I don't think, <laughs> I don't even think that the, the software that I used for my old videos, which were kind of about three and a half years ago, most of them, um, I don't know if it'll work. So I'll have to copy them across to my new software. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? The beer reviews and me talking shit is what you've kind of, uh, what you expect of my channel. <laughs> Jason Bits, guys, we'll see you real soon for more bits and me, more. Uncle John, a complete wrongness. <laughs> Cheers, guys.